Okay, in this video we're going to look at three examples, just examination style examples on tangents and normals. So in this one it says, find where the tangent to the curve y is equal to 2.5x squared minus 2x cubed minus 2x plus 7 is parallel to the line y is equal to minus 3x plus 9. Okay, first thing to notice is parallel to this line, that means your gradient is going to be equal to minus 3. So we're going to have to find our gradient of our curve. So we're going to do that first of all by differentiating. And if you differentiate, you're going to get 5x minus 6x squared minus 2. And we're going to just put our dy by dx, remember our gradient function, equal to minus 3. So that means minus 3 is equal to 5x minus 6x squared minus 2, which means 6x squared minus 5x. Uh, so brought out, bringing everything, to, everything over to the left-hand side going to equal to minus 3 plus 2 which is minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay I'm going to factorize that if possible so I'll just have a go at and uh, have a go and see if I can. So my sum is going to be equal to minus 5 my product is minus 6 and that's definitely going to be able to be done. We'll go through minus 6 is minus 1 times 6 it's minus 2 times 3 it's minus 3 times 2 and most importantly, it is minus 6 times 1. So there's your two numbers. So rewrite this equation as 6x squared minus 6x plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Factorize the first two terms completely. And you can pull out a 6x, leaving you x minus 1. And factorize the last two terms. You can pull out a 1 just, leaving you x minus 1. You've got a common bracket of x minus 1. And then the other bracket then is going to be 6x plus 1 is equal to 0, which means the first bracket is equal to 0, which means x minus 1 is equal to 0, which means x must be equal to 1. And the second bracket equal to, put the second bracket equal to 0 will give you 6x plus 1 equal to 0, which gives you x is equal to minus 1 over 6. Okay, you've got your two x values. And we'll run out of space here if we're not careful. So what we want to do is put it says find where the tangent to the curve is parallel to your line. So there's going to be two points. So the first thing I'm going to do is just find the corresponding y values. So we'll say when x equals 1, y is equal to 2.5 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 plus 7. And when I did that, I got 5 0.5 so just put that into your calculator don't try and be smart about it so 1 comma 1.5 is your coordinate so 1 1.1 point, 1, 5.5 point sorry is your coordinate the next one is just say when x is equal to minus 1 sixth y is equal to and you're substituting it into the same equation so uh, 2.5 upon minus 1 over 6 squared minus 2 upon minus 1 over 6 cubed minus 2 times minus 1 over 6 plus 7 so y is equal to and this I definitely did this in my calculator 7 and 89 over 216 so your second point is not so pretty at all but is minus 1 sixth and then 7 and 89 over 216 Okay, great example. The next one it says find where the tangent to the curve y is equal to 5x minus x squared plus 4 is perpendicular to the straight line joining the points minus 2, 3 and 3, 2. So the first thing you've got to do is find the gradient uh, of the line which joins these two points. So we'll just say, we'll write those down again, minus 2, 3 and 3, 2. And we'll just say the gradient. And how you do the gradient, remember it's rise over run, or the, the better mathematical way of, say, of saying it is x difference over your y difference. So let's just look at what I mean here. The what we'll do this, we're going to do this coordinate minus this coordinate, and it's important that you're consistent when you do that. So you could have done it the other way around, you could have done this coordinate minus this, this coordinate as long as you're consistent. And I'll explain what I mean by that by consistent here. So my y value of my, of my left coordinate is 3. The y value of my right coordinate is 2. So it's 3 minus 2 is my y difference. 
and my x difference in. Remember, I started with my left coordinate, so I'm starting with my left coordinate here. So it's minus 2, then minus, and my x value here is 3. So that's what we have. Okay, it's a bit of a mess, so tidy it up. Top line, 3 minus 1 is 1. Bottom line, minus 2, uh, minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5, and 1 over minus 5 is minus 1 fifth. So that's what you've got for your uh, gradient. So right, let's think what we've got. We've got the, this is a gradient of the line joining these points. And if we want to be perpendicular to that, we have to negative reciprocal that thing. So change its sign and turn it, turn it upside down. So therefore, perpendicular gradient equals the negative reciprocal of that. So negative reciprocal makes it positive 5. Okay, right, uh, we now want to find where the tangent of the curve is perpendicular. So we want to go, uh, we need to get dy, to, dy by dx. So we'll just say differentiate the curve to get our dy by dx. So dy by dx, differentiate your original curve. You'll have 5 minus 2x. And then we just want to put that equal to our 5. So put 5 equal to 5 minus 2x. And I'll say that's going to be 2x is equal to 5 minus 5. 2x is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0. And your last thing to do is to put that 0 back into the curve. So when x equals 0, the y value is 5 upon 0 minus 0 squared plus 4, so y is equal to 4. So your answer is 0, 4. Okay, in this next example, a uh, fairly tricky example, it's there's two. it looks like there's two parts to it, but there's actually three parts, because the first bit, it says for you to find the equation of this curve. So the, the curve is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus 4. It passes through the point of 3, 7. And it also tells you at a point x equals 1, the curve has a gradient of minus 1. Find the equation of this curve. I'm going to do that bit first before I even talk about parts 1 and 2. So first of all, uh, I pass through, the curve passes through this point. So we're just going to say sub 3, 7 into the curve. And if you do that, you're going to get 7 is equal to a upon 3 squared plus b times 3 plus 4 and then we're going to tidy that mess up that's going to be 7 is equal to 9a plus 3b plus 4 and then uh, bring the 4 across 7 minus 4 is going to be 3 is equal to 9a plus 3b and if we can divide everything through by 3 to make it a wee bit easier to work with hopefully so that's going to be 1 is equal to 3a plus b call that dot 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 equation 1 and we will be coming back to that you maybe have an idea of where we're going with this already okay the next bit of information it tells you is it says at a point x equals 1 the curve has a gradient you may not know how you're going to do this question at the minute but when you see gradient and you've got curves gradient tangent normal any of those words you've got you have got to think I've got to differentiate, so dy by dx. So even if you're not quite sure uh, what you're going to, how you're going to get to the end result, uh, just see you've seen gradient, so you think, well, I'm going to differentiate. So that's what we're going to do now. So we'll write down our equation of our curve. It was, we'll do that up here, sorry. It was y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus 4. And we're going to differentiate this. Do not be scared that you haven't got numbers. You've got uh, letters as well. It's absolutely fine. Your rules of differentiation are the same. Uh, if you have uh, to differentiate this x squared, you uh, multiply the multiply by the, car, the power. So it's going to be 2a upon and reduce the power by 1. So it's just going to be 2ax. Differentiate bx will just be b. And differentiate the 4 is just going to be 0. So that's all that you have here. Okay, it says, it tells you in the question, when x equals minus 1, sorry, when x equals 1, the gradient 
is equal to minus 1. So just say when x equals 1, that means your dy by dx, your gradient, remember, is minus 1. So we'll just put that in. So therefore, that means minus 1 is equal to, sorry, I've lost my train of thought, minus 1 is equal to 2a times 1 plus b, which means minus 1 is equal to just 2a plus b. And you should know where we're going by now. That's my equation 2. Okay, write those equations again. Equation 1 was 1 is equal to 3a plus b. That was my equation 1. And the next one was minus 1 is equal to 2a plus b. That was my equation 2. We want to clearly want to eliminate your b's. We have the same number of b's in both equations, and they're both positive. So you're going to subtract. So I'm just going to do equation 1 minus equation 2. So 1 minus minus 1 is 1 plus 1, which is 2. 3a minus a. 2, 3, sorry, 3a minus 2a is just a, so you've got your a is equal to uh, 2. Next thing we'll just say, we'll sub, sub that back into equation 1. So you'll have 1 is equal to 3 times 2 plus b. 1 is equal to 6 plus b. So minus 5 is equal to b. So therefore, your curve... Your curve is, and it was y was equal to ax squared, so that's now 2x squared. My b was minus 5, so that's minus 5x plus 4. So that's what you've got. Okay, let's look back at part 1. Part 1 then said we're ready to do it now. It says find the coordinates of the curve when its gradient is parallel to the x-axis. Now, your x-axis has a gradient of 0, so we've got our... Uh, y, I'm just going to write down what we get if we differentiate that again. So dy by dx, differentiate that, you're now going to get uh, 4x minus 5. And parallel to the x-axis means your dy by dx equals 0. So 0 equals 4x minus 5, or 5 is equal to 4x, which means x is equal to 5 divided by 4, which is going to be 1.25. I forgot what the question said. The question said find uh, find the coordinates of the curve when it's parallel to the x-axis. So then just put, uh, or yep, sorry, sub, we'll say uh, sub x equals 1.5 into your y. So that means your y is going to be equal to 2 upon 1.25 squared minus 5 times 1.25 plus 4. So your y is equal to 0.875. So your answer to the first part, part 1, is going to be 1.25 and then 0.875. Okay, part 2 of this question. Let me just have a look back up and see what it says. Part 2 says uh, find... Find the equation of any tangents to the curve. Hopefully there's just one. Uh, find the equation of any tangents to the curve that are perpendicular to your line. Uh, y is equal to minus a third x plus 5. Okay, so that means if it's perpendicular to this, negative, this thing is parallel to minus 1 third. Uh, negative reciprocal minus 1 third. And you're just going to get your gradient of 3. So we're just going to say put your gradient equal to 3 and then I'll scroll down again and get started this one so we put our gradient equal to 3 and you can see over here we've got our gradient function uh, from the first part the first part of this question so we can just say 3 is equal to now uh, sorry 4x minus 5 bring up minus 5 across that's going to be 3 plus 5 that's going to be 8 is equal to 4x lovely which means x is equal to 2 and then we'll just say uh, when x equals 2, my corresponding y value is going to be 2 times 2 squared minus 5 times 2 plus 4. So y is going to be equal to uh, 2 times 2 squared is going to be 8 minus 10 plus 4 is going to be minus 2 plus uh, 4 is going to be 2. So you've got that. So you've got it goes through the point 2, 2. And then I'll skip over to here. So my tangent so far 
is y is equal to, we knew the gradient was this thing, sorry, the gradient was 3. So my tangent is going to be 3x plus c, and then we'll sub in our point, which was 2, 2. So 2 is equal to 3 times 2 plus c. So 2 is equal to 6 plus c. And then that's 2 minus 6 is equal to c, minus 4 is equal to c. And then you can, you can give your answer then. It's the tangent is y is equal to y is equal to 3x minus 4. And that's it. Okay, folks, that is us done for this video. And you are now ready to do exercise 7f and exercise 7g.